Is radio frequency safe? In one word, yes. But since we get a lot of questions about the safety of the tech, let's break down the top three questions. A common misconception is, does radio frequency melt the fat in your face? This is not true. RF waves, including the waves delivered by our current body skin RF device, don't reach the fatty layers of your skin. They stop at the dermis, delivering carefully controlled energy without going anywhere near the subcutaneous fat layer, where the fat cells are stored. The confusion comes from certain in-clinic treatments that use monopolar tech to specifically target fat or techniques like microneedling that are designed to melt fat by going deeper into the skin. But that's not how at-home RF devices work. Some people worry that RF treatments will be painful, but they should not hurt and there should be very little side effects. Most people describe the sensation as a comfortable warming, like a hot stone face massage. Some mild redness afterwards is also completely normal. Here's an expert tip. We recommend to do your RF facials before bed to benefit from additional collagen renewal as you sleep. If the warmth feels too intense and you're using an at-home device like our current body skin RF, then don't worry, you're in control. You can adjust the energy levels to suit your comfort using the three settings. Just turn it down if it feels too warm. Some people also wonder if RF waves are harmful. No, they're not. The frequencies of RF waves used are perfectly safe for skin rejuvenation. They use different frequencies from those associated with serious health issues like cancer. Instead, the RF waves in our current body skin device improve skin texture, wrinkles and other skin concerns. Before you start, remember to check our website for any contraindications related to RF technology. Some conditions might mean that RF treatment isn't suitable due to potential risks or side effects. It's always good to be informed. Got more burning questions about RF tech? Drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next episode.